Have you ever wondered how everything in our universe began? How nature glows as every season come and go? What enables all living things to breathe, walk, swim, and fly? Who crafted such tiny details from the scratches on trees to the perfect triangular shape of a pyramid? From the very first moment that we opened our eyes, mathematics has long been there. If mathematics has existed for a very long time before we were ever conceived, it raises the question of whether it was invented by humans or discovered by them. Without people, would mathematics still exist? There's mathematics in flowers, trees, galaxies, and different natural phenomena. So was it merely just a discovery? It is undeniable that mathematics is a magnificent gift of nature to humanity. It is a part of everything and has been given to us as a way of the puzzling and making sense of the physical world. Firstly, Fibonacci numbers are frequently seen in nature, particularly in flower petals. Additionally, Pi's outstanding properties may be applied to nearly everything in our environment including the pupil of our eyes and the rainbows that appear occasionally in the sky. Now even the golden ratio may be used to measure a person's beauty. But first, let us go back to the very beginning. I believe that there was nobody who sat down one day and concluded that a three-sided shape has three angles that should sum up to 180 degrees just because they like that number. Before someone really studied and worked on mathematics, there was no such thing as mathematics. Humans are the one who combine concepts like numbers, structure, geometry, and mathematical laws. Thus, we claim that math is an invention. But these said concepts have always existed. A mathematical idea that is inaccurate cannot be created. This is the inevitable consequence. Math, according to Galileo Galilei, is a language. So, let's compare mathematics with oral language. Oral language was initially found through experience and understanding. It was not there when the world was created. With their experiences and discoveries, our ancestors came to the conclusion that everything needed a name. Therefore, they labeled everything and gave it a name. They created words and expressions that they may use to communicate with one another and transfer information to the next generation. We can now make sense of this world owing to the generated and socially constructed words. For instance, the ideas of peace, truth, and love. Similar to mathematics, our ancestors created something to help us make sense of the phenomena happening in this world through their discoveries. They invented this because they believed that everything in the world must have underlying logic. All of us are aware that Isaac Newton invented calculus, formulated the theory of gravity, and loss of motion. But did he really? Or did he simply figure out something that was already there? Humans only discovered equations and theorems through experiments that would help in their understanding of a world created without them. It would be absurd to claim that humanity invented the rules concerning the physical universe. It would be a big overstatement to claim that humans invented it. The definition of gravity in the Webster's Dictionary is a gravitational pull of the mass of the Earth, the Moon, or a planet for bodies at or near its surface. Isaac Newton was just a man who came only across this idea. He was not the reason of why humans do not float in the air. In essence, mathematics is similar to science. Its core ideas and components have always existed. We have simply discovered them and developed a technique to record them on paper, which is what is referred to be an invention. Despite the fact that mathematics exists on its own, humans invented it in the form that we use today. 
because things will always do what they're supposed to be doing whether or not we understand them. This is a clear reality of the universe. To fully understand, interpret, and describe what nature provides for us, we invented or created mathematics. Therefore, the answer to the question of whether mathematics was discovered or invented is both. This question will go down as one of the greatest mysteries in the world. But why are we arguing it? It is both. The real dilemma, in my opinion, is that we do not have a third term that lies somewhere between discovery and invention to best describe mathematics and get rid of the first argument.